In this video we built 5 mechanical movements. Those mechanical devices are a bit more exotic than what we see in everyday applications. Some of them work really well and some there is a reason why they are not used in real life. So stay tuned and let's dive right in. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. The first mechanical movement transfers rotational movement to linear movement. And because it's spring loaded we got continuous punching effect like automatic hammer. All we need to build this is a front of view. Most of the things are 3D printed but we also need few bolts and one spring. To print those parts I use Prusa Core 1. In fact everything printed in this video I use Prusa Core 1 and Prusament. Note Prusa is not sponsoring this video. This is just my first Prusa printer ever and I have a lot of fun with it. But anyway when I got all the parts printed I started with the assembly. This is super easy. First I checked do the rack gear moves freely into the slider. And it moves but it can be a little smoother. I added some silicone oil. So anyway after bolting everything together the mechanism is ready. The driver gear have limited amount of tools. When they engage with the rack gear this will move backwards. Then the spring gets loaded. When the driver gear tools disengage the spring releases all its energy and push the rack forward. This is how we get cool continuous hammer motion. Next one is my personal favorite. We are again turning rotational movement to linear. But the way we do this is completely different. Using a cylinder that has threads that are shaped to follow movement profile. Then the thing that will follow the profile moves how we designed the threads. A bit confusing sentence but you will see it soon. The one I am using will have low pitch threads at both sides. But in the middle the pitch increases. This means at the beginning and the end of the thread the thing that moves linearly will move faster. And at the middle slows down. I again printed all the things with Prusa Core 1. The thing I really like about this printer is how cool it looks and because the small footprint it fits on my table perfectly. Addition to 3D printed parts we also need some 8.5mm aluminium rods and M4 bolts. Building it is not difficult and it took me 2 minutes to get this up and running. But I had a problem. The device is not working. It seems to be too wobbly. To fix this I had to print new parts to make the whole device a bit more rigid. With a bit editing magic the new one is done and this time it works. So now when we rotate it the linear thing moves. First faster. And not because I move the screw faster. This is because it follows the profile. And when it reaches to the middle it moves way slower. And again at the end faster. With a power drill it's a bit better to see. Oops wrong way. This is quite cool because you can make the thread exactly how you want. So you have a lot of control over the linear movement. I was thinking it would make an excellent camera slider. If we improve the design and build as an actual device of course. To learn mechanical engineering there is no better time to do it right now. This is where Brilliant comes in. You wanna design something by yourself? No problem Brilliant got you covered. Using Brilliant you don't just learn how to get one task done. They teach you the topic in whole. I learned 3D printing, mechanical engineering and 3D modeling all by myself online. And there is no better time to become whoever you want by just using your laptop or phone. Brilliant is an excellent tool to achieve your goals. Brilliant helps you to become a better thinker and problem solver. With thousands of visual interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. It's a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Instead of sitting in the class at the morning and listening boring lectures, Brilliant offers you a choice. When you wanna learn, how you wanna learn and how much per time. By hands on problem solving that lets you play with the concept. A method proven to be 6 times more effective than listening lectures. Those lessons are engineered by professional teachers, researchers, university professors and world top tech company geniuses 
to offer you the best and most effective way to learn. If you want to start learning, you don't need any previous knowledge at all. Like me right now, I always wanted to know how to write the code, program mechatronics or even Arduino. Well, for me who have absolutely zero experience about coding, Brilliant is an excellent starting point. With Brilliant, I am not learning how to get one desk done. I am actually understanding the topic and how it works. To learn from the Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash let's print. Scan the QR code on the screen and if you stay subscribed to Brilliant by using my link, you will get 20% off forever. So guys, good luck with the learning, but now next mechanical device. This one is called Gneva mechanism. This is quite well known mechanism and because Maker Muse designed an excellent model of it, I didn't bother to design this by myself and instead I used his design. By the way, he has whole video about this mechanism, so if you are interested, I leave the link down below. Like the previous models, I again used Prusa Core 1 and I have used this printer for many prints now and I haven't had single fail print. The reliability is something I enjoy about this printer. Whatever job I give it, this printer got this done and every single time without issues. So it goes together just like this. Right now it doesn't hold together. It was designed long time ago and the printers were not as accurate than right now. So the added clearances feel too much now. So I used one M6 bolt over here and it fixes the issue and now the mechanism is ready to roll. So what this does? It moves the pin to the bigger wheel slot. This moves this fast for about 22 degrees and then becomes stationary again. And this process repeats itself as long as the small wheel keeps rotating. This mechanism is used on the old cameras and movie projectors to move a film. This mechanism was used because it moves the frame fast and then keeps it stationary to be projected to the screen certain amount of time. The model is a piece of art and it works really nicely. Also the mechanism itself is really cool. Next one well didn't go as smooth. First of all I designed this. This should transfer rotational movements to 90 degrees. The purpose is the same as bevel gears. Just more complicated and doesn't work as well. So first I printed all the necessary things. The orange things are mounts and bearings at the same time. They hold those grey pieces in place, but let them rotate. I secured the first set of the bearing mounting to the wood plate. Before this I used those couplers to attach two steel rods to each end. In total we need three of them. So when the first mount is in place, I installed the steel rods. And then positioned the second mount to correct spot. Then I repeated and it should be done. Well this one doesn't wanna rotate at all. The friction and upward force just doesn't let them slide. I can say I tried a bit to make this happen but this didn't work at all. So I tried to fix this. Instead of using 90 degrees I increased the angle to 150 degrees. For this I printed new couplers and basically did exactly same thing over again. Well still it doesn't work as well as I hoped but for some moments it did. This is probably the worst one in this video because it just doesn't want to work as it should. And second the mechanism itself is pretty useless. Bevel gears will do work without the problems by occupying way less space than this one. This mechanism works well in 3D animations and looks kind of cool but in reality it's trash. But also my design can be improved. If you used linear bearings for each steel rod and actual bearings for rotating those grey things, it might do something, but still, thumbs down for this one. The last model in this video is one of my favorites. The model itself I downloaded from printables.com and printed with Prusa Core 1 like everything in this video. The assembly takes 15 seconds. It's all, mechanism is done. I use double sided tape to hold this in place and because the rack gear is not secured to the rest of the model, I needed to support this with knife and lighter. But it works flawlessly. So the point of this mechanism is to transfer rotational movement to linear back and forward movement. To move it back or forward, you don't need to change the rotation direction. The half gears do it for you. 
For all the models I leave the link down below, so if you wanna print them by yourself feel free to do so. But thank you for watching and see you guys next time, bye!